Hello. Um, so uh, we had we had an issue like there was a project that we had to do, and there was a big JSON file, and it consisted of four hundred objects. We had to uh, update one, remove some of the unnecessary uh, parameters from the from that JSON object, but it was it would take a long time to to manually remove. 400 object like parameters like variables inside of it so what we did is is we we opened the chrome and in chrome in the um like the console um you can open the con console in chrome i guess it's you go to um developer tools yeah so you open that and we created that object. So this is the users. I just using JSON placeholder. So this is just dummy data. So what I did, I I said users is equal to this data. And if I say users, now I see all data. So so what we did, we copied all data and updated it here. So now we didn't need address, we didn't need company, we only needed email and the name. So what we did, we used um, array function. So we said, let new users, new users. And here we said users dot map and, in, and the map takes uh, returns um, it's a user which is one object in the in that array of objects so I'm getting user and in, from that user I only get email and name and I say user is equal to and here I'll say return and object and I say return user and I say user that name I guess yeah let me say name username and the uh, email is user dot email let's try let me try new users And it's here and in a second we got the entire entire name and I got a typo here so let me just to be sure so let me update existing user and here it is name so if I now if I say new users and I get name and email so that's good so in a second if you have like 400 lines it would be the same one second so we got that now we need to get that data back so what you do is you call json parse and oh not parse stringify so you you call stringify and you call new users so we got the new users everything is fine if you want to if you want to check that you, you can go to jsonlint.com you paste that and then you validate so it is valid json so you can you can copy linted data and use whatever you want so this was one so you can you can use this kind of stuff so you can use this kind of stuff if you know that this functionality exists. So where you can find it is array functions. So if you look at array functions and for example, the one that I use is usually would be um, filter. Filter, what it does, it just go through the array and in the function you can say um, if it returns true, 
then it will just uh, populate that data if this is false it, it doesn't it just skips that for example if the age is greater than 18 it will just return and then I use map the same thing it goes through the object and whatever you return here will be used and reduce so you can you can look you can just go through one by one and if you know that this function exists then you can use it so you don't need to memorize you just go through each of them and you can go to the example and you can just see what it does so so that's it for example let me show you one thing let's say you want to get the you want to calculate the length of names or let's say you want users with uh, whose name is longer than 15 characters so what you do is um, you just create let um, like user 15 cars I don't know user 15 let's see and so what you we can do is we can go through each of this um, array of objects and check whose name length is longer so we'll say users dot map dot map um, fill filter and then filter as a function and it goes through the users so we can say user and here is the calculation so we can say users user dot name dot length is greater than 15 and you close this if if we go like user 15 you see that six people names are longer than 15 characters 